predict a riot. I predict a riot. Yes! It's a live owl. See, what you probably don't know is if the Prime Minister has a particularly tricky problem, he sends an owl to Hogwarts for a little bit of extra magical help. If it's a smaller problem, he might send a budgie. I am the Prime Minister's personal owl keeper. And this is Blodwin. All right, Blodwin? Oh, yes, Daddy. <laughs> and Blodwin is trained to take just such emergency messages. Here's the message, look. There you are, Blodwin. Take that. Now, remember, don't fly into any patio doors. Do your stuff. <laughs> What's this owl doing here? Why isn't it in the owl room? It's flying through the wrong window. There's a letter. I can't make it out. It's all smudged. I, th I think it's from the minister. Dear. What's ever done for us? I'll get rid of it. I've been practicing my conflagration spell. Two minutes. It doesn't say minister for magic. It says prime minister. What, the muggle one? What's he want? To whomever it may concern, as long as they can use magic. Sounds a bit desperate. Yeah, he's not been very choosy, is he? A terrible crime has befallen the country. Her Majesty the Queen's handbag has been stolen. Voldemort's getting really inventive. Oh, I don't know, I can't really see Voldemort with a handbag myself. There's more. This handbag contains the reading glasses Her Majesty is due to use to read her speech at her 80th birthday celebrations. That's today, isn't it? Peeves was using it as an excuse to drop red, white and blue eggs over everybody at breakfast. We urgently need your help. We don't know who could have taken the bag or how to get it back. We've tried everything. I know they use Veritas Serum to make thieves at the Ministry confess. But we don't know who the thief is. Oh yeah, good point. No, there must be another way. It can't be that difficult. Akio lost handbag. Akio lost, lost handbag. handbag. Yes. It's bound to be one of these. What are you doing with my grand's handbag? Hey, Neville, your grand isn't the queen, is she? What? Handbags, the Queen's. We're too far away from Buckingham Palace to work the Accio charm. Uh, I wouldn't put your hand in there, Ron. <laughs> Who keeps a mouse trap in a handbag? My gran. Ever since she put her hand in a bag in 1947 and found a fanged gerbil in there, my granddad thought she'd find it funny. I've got an idea. Brilliant. Could you hurry? I'm losing the circulation, my finger. We'll send a message to the palace. It'll just mean a temporary transference of magical power. We can easily do that. Off you go. It's Buckingham Palace. You can't miss it. Big white place with a flag on top. A message! Mr. Blood, a message! Love is back! All right, all right, all right, steady up there. Let's have a look at this. Dear Prime Minister, hang on, I'm not the Prime Minister. Well, he knows that. He's given you permission. Oh, has he? Oh, yeah, yeah. Let Bloody read the letter. Ah. Dear Prime Minister, happy birthday to the Queen from the students of Hogwarts. Oh, well, that's nice, isn't it? Now, here, here to that, Your Majesty. Just get on with it, Richard. That's right, yeah. Get all on right, with it. all right, all right. Keep your, your shirt on. <laughs> In view of this special occasion, we send you a charm that can be worked by muggles, as long as they are in possession of a little borrowed magic, which we include in this envelope. Mm -hmm. This is a limited one-time only offer. Stand up straight, point both to the left and the right, and shout the following phrase, Accio, Her Majesty's handbag. 
What a load of rubbish. That hasn't done a thing, has it? That's what you get for using underage wizards. If you'd have asked me...